believed had been lying about the election results and had been working against Donald Trump from the beginning. Today's ceremony, however, has very special meaning because today we are not merely transferring power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but we are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. Washington flourished, but the people did not share in its wealth. Politicians prospered, but the jobs left and the factories closed. The establishment protected itself, but not the citizens of our country. Their victories have not been your victories. Their triumphs have not been your triumphs. And while they celebrated in our nation's capital, there was little to celebrate for struggling families all across our land. That all changes starting right here and right now because this moment is your moment, it belongs to you. Is that something in the Bible or is that some guy? No, I'm actually going to decide to talk to you. There are tons of claims about this shirtless man wearing a horned hat. Quote, this is not a Trump supporter, this is a staged Antifa attack. Well, we tracked him down. This is Jake Angeli. He's easy to find online as an outspoken QAnon supporter and fan of President Trump. Thank you, President Trump! Now, he's posted photos of meeting Rudy Giuliani and has been photographed protesting against groups like Black Lives Matter and Antifa in the past. Wednesday night, he actually posted that, quote, I am not Antifa or BLM. I'm a QAnon and digital soldier. Ah! Tougher. You're not going to have a Republican Party if you don't get tougher. They want to play so straight, they want to play so serious, the United States. The Constitution doesn't allow me to send them back to the states. Well, I say yes, it does, because the Constitution says you have to protect our country, and you have to protect our Constitution, and you can't vote on fraud. And fraud breaks up everything, doesn't it? When you catch somebody in a fraud, you're allowed to go by very different Used by some rioters echo small unit tactics used by the U.S. military in urban warfare. We have some breaking news to bring you as details continue to come to light about the insurrection at the Capitol. According to the Washington Post, at least 13 off-duty law enforcement officials are now suspected of taking part in the riot, a number that could still grow in the days and weeks to come. To show up in Washington, D.C. and support the president? Then we're going to do that. A, a case study in the exercise of political power. I reckon this one will be taught in politics courses in universities for a long time to come. By the way, there was no rioting in uh, the Capitol. I happen to know three to four people here from my town who said it was very peaceful. The police took down the barriers. And in effect, what people don't know is we sent special forces operators in there to take Pelosi's uh, computer. Police are squabbling with protesters. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Dude, I'm excited. We're finally getting to express some of this fucking energy we've got. Straight patriot energy here, dude. This is crazy. We're on top of the Capitol building out here. We yes. swarmed the whole place. together and we're doing it so peacefully and with so much love and respect for one another and we are nothing but unity and love it's just mind-blowing to me but
freedom is everything, and without freedom we have nothing. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. some of this fucking energy we got. Straight Patriot energy here, dude. This is crazy. We're on top of the Capitol building out here. We yes. swarmed the whole place. They even broke the doors, bro. We're trying to push past the, uh, the riot police over there. Oh, shit. Yeah. How do you feel about the election? Stolen as fuck. Keep fighting. You will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede what is definitely wrong. Our country has had enough. We will not take it anymore. And that's what this is all about. and we won it by a landslide. This was not a close election. You know, I say sometimes jokingly, but there's no joke about it. I've been in two elections. I won them both, and the second one, I won much bigger than the first, okay? Almost 75 million people voted for our campaign, the most of any incumbent president by far in the history of our country. 12 million this is a scorecard from, excuse me, from Joseph Goebbels. If you tell a lie big enough, and that's what they're doing. And you see Pelosi, you see Schumer, and just told me that Pelosi called the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, and they're trying to get him out on the 25th Amendment or to impeach him. Why? Well, because on Wednesday, they took Pelosi's laptop. She's friend. There were some people in there that were special forces mixed with Antifa and they took her laptop and they had that data. Because they have that data. I believe they also have a source that is talking like a songbird. And the president is going to spring that person on us so it will completely, completely change because it is someone that has said, I'm not going to do this. This is treason. Remember, could he, could this he, is treason, high treason. Circus office with the thousands of revolutionaries who have stormed the building. To put into perspective how quickly staff evacuated, emails are still on the screen alongside a federal alert. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. They took uh, the supercomputer and all that stuff. But, uh, Laptop and inside door. Look at this. These protesters are inside Statuary Hall right now. You see the statues. This is a, a moment I never saw in my life. These individuals just rushed through security. They are inside Statuary Hall. Those members of Congress who had groups coming through the Capitol that I saw on January 5th are reconnaissance for the next day. 11 o'clock, no later than midnight, ready for ready for intel briefings, ready for communication briefings, contingency plans, route. As this enormous crowd shows, we have truth and justice on our side. We have a deep and enduring love for America in our hearts. We love our country. We have overwhelming pride in this great country. We have it deep in our souls. Together we are determined to defend and preserve government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Our brightest days are before us. Our greatest achievements still wait. I think one of our great achievements will be election security, because nobody until I came along had any idea how corrupt our elections were. And again, most people would stand there at 9 o'clock in the evening and say, I want to thank you very much. 
they go off to some other life. But I said, something's wrong here. Something's really wrong. We can't have that. And we fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Our exciting adventures and boldest endeavors have not yet begun. My fellow Americans, for our movement, for our children, and for our beloved country. And I say this, despite all that's happened, the best is yet to come. So we're going to, we're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania Avenue. And we're going to the Capitol. And we're going to try and give, if the Democrats are hopeless, they're never voting for anything. Not even one vote. But we're going to try and give our Republicans, the weak ones, because the strong ones don't need any of our help. We're going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I want to thank you all. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all for being here. This is incredible. Thank you very much. Give everybody confidence that Donald Trump's going to be your president for the next four years. All this, they're, they're very much afraid. All the evidence that I know is there is going to come out this week. And everybody praying, everybody praying for protection for everybody that's standing up to these guys for our country. This is the only time we have in history to beat these guys, to, to suppress the evil and, um, and beat the evil. With protesters. Oh, there we go. First story for the night. This is from The Guardian. Um, breaking news here. We don't have many details yet. Breaking news. But it says here, 
Trump ally Mike Lindell of MyPillow pushes martial law in White House. It says MyPillow founder and Trump supporter Mike Lindell was photographed entering the West Wing of the White House on Friday, carrying notes which seemed to advocate the imposition of martial law. Now, a photographer photographed him walking out of the White House carrying this, this uh, stack of papers. And you can see it if we can scroll down further in, this, in the article. You have a tweet actually published in the article that shows a picture of that uh, the papers he's holding kind of flipped to the side. And here's what it says. This is pretty much the only information we have in it right now. Right? It, says, it, it says here, the note seemed to advocate naming an attorney named Colin, described as, a, quote, up to speed on election issues and seemingly based at Fort Meade on a national security role. A current LinkedIn page, so on, so on, right? Let me jump to the part where it talks specifically about this. Now it says, later a Washington Post photographer cut images of Lindell in which parts of notes he carried vis were visible. Among visible texts were the words, quote, Insurrection Act now as a result of the assault on the, and we don't know what the rest of the statement is. And then it continues, quote, martial law if necessary. It also states, quote, move Cash Patel to CIA acting. Military coup. What has happened and why I was part of it is because I've had a history of doing soft coups in the United States and what we call hard coups overseas, overthrowing regimes using the military. In this case, we had what we call a hard coup. It was initiated, as I said, a month and a half ago, two months ago by our cyber command using special forces. There were over 400 people from all parts of the intelligence community. I won't go into the names, but in effect now, we are about to arrest Pelosi. We're going to arrest Biden, Hunter Biden, Mitt Romney. You're talking about a whole list of individuals whom I identified on this show. sends a message to the world as to what we're seeing happen here at home, what happened last week, and what needs to be done, apparently, to secure the Capitol? Yeah, I don't love the image that we have to be a lockdown military camp like the Green Zone in Baghdad. It's about replacing a failed and corrupt political establishment with a new government controlled by you, the American people. The Washington establishment and the financial and media corporations that fund it exist for only one reason, to protect and enrich itself. The establishment has trillions of dollars at stake in this election. For those who control the levers of power in Washington and for the global special interest, they partner with these people that don't have your good in mind. Our campaign represents a true existential threat like they haven't seen before. This is not simply another four-year election. This is a crossroads in the history of our civilization that will determine whether or not we, the people, reclaim control over our government. The political establishment that is trying to stop us is the same group responsible for our disastrous trade deals, massive illegal immigration, and economic and foreign policies that have bled our country dry. The political establishment has brought about the destruction of our factories and our jobs as they flee to Mexico, China, and other countries all around the world. It's a global power structure that is responsible for the economic decisions that have robbed our working class, stripped our country of its wealth, and put that money into the pockets of a handful of large corporations and political entities. This is a struggle for the survival of our nation. 
And this will be our last chance to save it. This election will determine whether we're a free nation or whether we have only the illusion of democracy, but are in fact controlled by a small handful of global special interests rigging the system, and our system is rigged. This is reality. You know it, they know it, I know it, and pretty much the whole world knows it. He was just following orders. Being a uh, veteran myself and uh, being uh, part of the Super Soldier program, I, I, I obey the orders of the President of the United States. Nancy Pelosi's off. I didn't break in. Somebody did. I got pushed in.